everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Ridley beanie. Now this is a gender neutral crochet beanie. It features some easy stitches, some moss stitch or linen stitch along with some half double crochets in the third loop. Uh, this is one where you can switch up the colors a little bit. You can work it all into one color or two colors as I have or even uh, more, it's really up to you. The hat is worked from the bottom up to the top, and I'm going to be working it today to fit an adult head with a 20 to 22 inch circumference. I'll give you some instruction a little later on on how to adjust the size if you'd like. This hat can be worn with a pom-pom or without, as I'm showing you here. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Uh, for the beanie, we're going to need a five millimeter or an H8 crochet hook, as well as some worsted weight yarn. I'm working with the Heartland Yarn by Lion Brand. It's a worsted weight, 100% acrylic. There's about 250 yards per ball, and you're going to need about 150 yards for the color A, and then I'm going to use this tan color for my color A, and then maybe 100 yards for your color B and that should give you plenty. So thank you so much for joining me again. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Our Ridley beanie today is worked from the brim up. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain today will need to, uh, can be any multiple of stitches. I'm going to chain 10. The brim of the hat is worked in rows. Once you have your foundation chain worked, and I should have mentioned we're beginning with our color A, you're going to work a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. Now, if you're not a fan of working slip stitches, uh, you may wish to uh, substitute these stitches with single crochet or half double crochet stitches. You'll have a total of nine stitches at the end of your row one. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Now looking at the tops of your stitches, you have a loop that is closest to you. This is your front loop and you have a loop that is furthest away from you. This is your back loop. For row two, and every row of your brim here after you're going to work under this back loop only and you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and into each stitch all the way across always working in that back loop at the end of your row two chain one turn your work and repeat, working in the back loop only all the way across, slip stitch into that first stitch, and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. You're going to repeat this row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches, and that's when it's laid flat. It should stretch to fit a 20 to 22 inch circumference comfortably. If you need it a little bit longer, go ahead and work a few more rows. If you're adjusting the size of your beanie to make it a little bit smaller, then you'll want to work just to the desired length. I'm going to work my brim to about 16 or 17 inches. Once you have worked your brim to 16 to 17 inches, this will this is what it should look like. And again, that 16 to 17 inches is when it is relaxed. You'll see that it has quite a bit of stretch to it. You're then going to take your two short ends and fold your band over so that the two short ends meet. You're going to leave your yarn attached and chain one. We're then going to crochet these two short ends together you're going to work in the back loop only of the front, the first side, and then reach across, insert your hook into the back loop only of the second side, and work a slip stitch. 
you're going to work through both thicknesses, working slip stitches in the back loop only all the way across. When you come across, you can chain one and turn your brim so that it is right side out. We're now going to work around this rough edge of our brim. We're going to continue working the hat in rounds. You're going to start by chaining one and then working 80 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way around. So you'll want, if you mark it halfway around, you'll want 40 and then 40. You just want them to be spread out fairly evenly. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, you're simply going to need an even number of stitches. Today I'm going to work 80 half double crochet stitches all the way around. Once you have come all the way around and have worked 80 half double crochet stitches around the top, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. We're going to continue working in the same direction and for round two, we're going to chain one, working in the third loop all the way around we're going to work a half double crochet stitch. So round two, working in that third loop. To find the third loop, if you look at the top of your stitch, you have a front loop and you have a back loop. If you turn it so that you can see the back, you have a loop that is running just along under that back loop. This is your third loop. So you're going to insert your hook under that third loop, yarn over, insert, and complete your half double crochet stitch. Work a half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round three, we're going to repeat round two, working in the third loop all the way around. You're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch. The difference with round three being that at the end of round three, you're going to switch to your color B in the final stitch and I'll show you how I like to do that when I come around. So for now, half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around for round three. When you come all the way around, at the end of round three, you have one stitch remaining. You'll want to switch to your color B in that final stitch. To do so, yarn over with your color A and insert your hook into that third loop of the final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You can then drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and yarn over and pull through. Then using your color B, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and then continue on working in your color B. At this time, you can go ahead and fasten off that color A. Now working with your color B, for round four, you're going to chain one. You're then going to work a single crochet into the same stitch as joining chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the next. 
chain one, skip one, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next stitch all the way around until you come to your first stitch. You'll be ending with a chain one and skip one. When you come all the way around at the end of round four, you'll finish off with a chain one, skip one, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for round five, you're going to slip stitch into the first chain one space. You're then going to chain one, single crochet into the same chain one space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat this all the way around. When you come all the way around, at the end of round five, you chain one, skip the next stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your single crochet, then slip stitch into the next chain one space, and for rounds six and seven, for the next two rounds, you're simply going to repeat that round five. Chain one, single crochet into the same chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next space. So repeat this for two more rounds, round six and seven. At the end of round seven, we're going to be switching back to our color A. At the end of your round seven, we're going to be switching back to our color A. So I'm just pulling it through in my final slip stitch. You're then going to, for round eight, chain one with your color A, you're going to work a half double crochet into that same stitch as joining. And then a half double crochet into each chain one space and each stitch all the way around half double crochet into each chain one space and into the top of each stitch all the way around when you come back to that first stitch you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you can fasten off your color B. At the end of your round eight, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And you'll continue working in the same direction. Now for rounds nine through to 21, you're going to repeat your rounds two through to eight. So two was the half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So repeat your rounds two through to eight once more. You're then going to repeat rounds two through to seven and finish off on that round seven, which was at the end of your color B round. So repeat rounds two to eight, then repeat rounds two through to seven and meet me back here to close the top of our hat. Once you come all the way around at the end of tw round 21, this is what your work looks like from the beginning. You'll have finished off on a color B round, but you'll have switched back to your color A. Now for round 22, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into each of the first six stitches and chain one spaces. So half double crochet into the first stitch 
and chain one space, stitch, chain one space, stitch, and chain one space. So you'll have six stitches all together. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together. And that's going to be over the next stitch and chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four loops. You're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next six stitches and chain one spaces. And work a half double crochet two stitches together over the next stitch and chain one space. You're going to repeat this all the way around until you come to your first stitch and you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round 22 you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have a total of 70 stitches. For round 23 we're going to work in the third loop of each stitch all the way around chain one and you're going to work a half double crochet into each of the first five stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat this all the way around until you come to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 50 stitches. For round 24, chain one. Once again, continuing to work in the third loop all the way around, you're going to work a half double crochet into each of the first four stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together half double crochet in each of the next four stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around half double crochet in each of the next four stitches followed by a half double crochet two stitches together until you come to the first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 50 stitches. For round 25 you're going to chain one. We're now going to be working in the tops of our stitches once again and you're going to work a half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. Next work a half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and then half double crochet two stitches together all the way around until you come to the first stitch. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round you'll have a total of 40 stitches.
For round 26, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into each of the first two stitches, and then half double crochet two stitches together. Work a half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around, half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, then half double crochet two stitches together until you come around to your first stitch. When you come to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 30 stitches. For round 27, you're going to chain one, half double crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet two stitches together. Half double crochet into your next stitch, and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around, half double crochet into your next stitch, and then half double crochet two stitches together until you come to your first stitch. When you come to the first stitch, Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, and you'll have a total of 20 stitches. For round 28, you're going to chain one, work a half double crochet, two stitches together, beginning with that same stitches joining, and then half double crochet two stitches together all the way around. When you come to the end of this round, you'll have a total of 10 half double crochet, two stitches together stitches. At the end of this round, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off, leaving a little bit of a long tail. You're then going to take that long tail, I'm just going to pull my camera back a little tiny bit here. You're going to take that long tail and thread it through your yarn needle. Then to sew the top of the hat closed, I like to just turn my hat inside out. And you're going to take that long tail and you're going to weave it in and out through the top round of stitches. When you come all the way around, you're simply going to pull that tail tight to close the top of your hat. You can then secure it. And you'll want to tuck in your end. You can then go ahead, fasten off. You can also take a moment to trim off any other ends that may be there still on your hat after you've woven them in a little bit, of course. Turn your hat right side out. And that is how you work your Ridley beanie. 
So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. If you happen to make your the Ridley beanie and share it on social media, be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet and I will come by and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.